Hey, Bus and Boxing, we are back in the house. And um, <laughs> it's like four in the morning, so I'm definitely gonna make this quick. All right, we're gonna listen to two pieces of audios, one by Eddie Hearn, one by Tyson Fury. You can believe whichever one you wanna believe, it don't matter to me, but somebody is lying. Okay, here we go. The one million percent focus is being undisputed champion. Um, Fury is a great fight for Joshua and one he wants as well. Um, if we can't get Wilder, definitely look at Fury. Fury's got to fight Dillian White next after Tom Schwartz. Is that official? Yeah, it's been ordered to. I mean, he's been ordered to and he's accepted it, you know. So we'll start negotiations after their fights and hopefully we get that done. Focus is being undisputed champion. Um, Fury is a great fight for Joshua and one he wants as well. Um, if we can't get Wilder, definitely look at Fury. Fury's got to fight Dillian White next after Tom Schwartz. Is that official? Yeah, it's been ordered to. I mean, it's been ordered to and he's accepted it, you know. Alright, now, he played it twice, so clearly you heard him say that Tyson Fury has uh, been ordered to fight Dillian White and he has accepted it and we will negotiate after both of their fights, okay? Let's see what Tyson Fury had to say about the situation. And Tyson, it sounds like the WBC wants to see you and Dillian White fight for a number one contender spot. Do you like that fight and do you think it actually happens? I don't, I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. Um, Dillian White for a mandatory slot, not interested. <laughs> You know, I'm the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. As far as I'm concerned, Dylan White's a bum, and I'll give him a knockout beating if he wants one. But, you know, it is what it is. I've got to get past Tom Schwartz first. And, and as for people telling me what to do, it doesn't go down very well. All righty, there you have it. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, we was going to play two pieces of audio, and... uh. One by Eddie Hearn, one by Tyson Fury, and somebody's lying. And it doesn't matter to me which one you believe is lying, but clearly somebody is lying. And uh, and that, that somebody is both of them. Clearly, Eddie Hearn lied to you and said that Tyson Fury said that Fury was accepting the fight. Clearly, he lied. But on the other hand, clearly Tyson Fury lied the other day or a week or so ago, whatever it is at this point, when he said, I will fight Dillian White if the WBC puts the diamond belt on the line instead of the, inter, uh, the uh, interlinear, not the interlinear, the interim title. So clearly both guys have shown to be exactly what they are and that's liars anyway i'm not gonna harp on it i just wanted to put it out there that uh tyson fury did indeed and i reported it uh yesterday that eddie hearn said that he accepted the fight but it turns out according to tyson fury that's not true anyway and then at the end of that he turned around and said he'll fight him so I mean who knows what's gonna happen with Tyson Fury to be honest which I'm starting to think maybe uh whatever drugs he was on a couple years back either he's still on them or they kind of damaged his brain up just a little bit because he does a lot of double talk but anyway this is hair busting boxing fight doctor I just wanted to drop that quick video just to put it out there that uh, it does not appear that Dillian White and, uh, and Tyson Fury will, will be fighting. So hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think. Is uh, is Tyson Fury on something? Is Eddie Hearn a big liar? <laughs> is Tyson Fury a bigger liar? Holla at your boy and let me know what you think. And while you haven't hit that like button, hit that share button, that subscribe button, I'm out.